So here we had a um, window that had been replaced. And you can see it was most likely the same as the top window. And probably when they put the kitchen in, they didn't want that long window. So they had put in this window, leaving a strange, well, uh, they just patched the siding because then they went over with other siding. So we didn't want that patch job showing. So we did a quilt pattern here to disguise it. In doing so, they, we had to work around this pipe here because this vent pipe was long and it was in our way, but we, I had to do some more thinking what to do about it. So what I decided to do, I had a couple options, I thought. One was to go and get one of those ventless, those one-way vents. But I also thought, what if I could cut the pipe in such a way to make it have its own cap? So what I ended up doing was cutting the pipe off at one level, cutting into it, and I can't really show you that now, but basically I cut a steep angle in the pipe. And then I actually cut more back in, leaving about, leaving about an inch and a quarter holding it. I then filed off the edges, filed off the tips, because they were very sharp. And this is copper, so this was um, pretty malleable. And then I gently bent it down, did some more filing, and I got it down pretty snug. Now there is, of course, air is gonna go through there, no problem. And people can't really shove anything in there easily. I mean, this is pretty solid. So I think it's going to work. Now the only question would be is, did it need to be that high? You know, because the sink is up here. Could water come back through? If that's the case, then I'm going to need to cut this off and put one of those one-way valve vents in. I don't think it's going to do that, but we're going to have to keep an eye on that. So overall, it looks much better than that pipe coming over our design. And I just think it looks better in general, even if we didn't have to do the design there.